Hello and thank you for clicking on this Fun with Pete and Sherry video. I am your host Julian. I promised you in my last review that I would find something more interesting than Glenlivet in order to do in my next review. That, fortunately, was extremely easy in my mind to do. And I have Ardbeg. Ten years old, Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Ah, uh, Ardbeg. Ardbeg is a very, very peaty whiskey. In fact, it is known to be, among the standard expressions of, uh, of every major distillery, the most peaty whiskey. This is measured in phenols per million ppm, which is something you should probably disregard entirely. Why? Because phenols per million are not all the same. Peat phenols, there's a very broad range of chemicals. They are not the same quantitatively. They are not the same qualitatively. The purpose of drinking a peaty whiskey is not to put hair on your chest, okay? Nor is it to prove that you're more, uh, a more sophisticated scotch drinker than the other guy. Uh, it's because it's delicious. Why is that? Here's why. Peat is both a flavor and a flavor enhancer. That is why if someone tells you, hey, this whiskey's got a tremendous amount of peat in it, they're clearly only giving you half the story. It's like saying this soup has a lot of salt in it. Well, it's like, okay, the soup has a lot of salt in it, but is it a beef soup or a vegetable soup? It's the same thing with peat. It makes it even more important what else is in the whiskey. Peat will not cover up a weakness uh, that exists in the whiskey. In fact, it's more likely to expose a weakness than it is to cover one up. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and crack this open and see what happens, shall we? I always smell the bottle first. And uh, at the top of the bottle, you get smokiness. Yeah, smoke is sort of the first thing that hits you, but it's not a rough smoke. It's not a campfire smoke, uh, as, as you get in some whiskeys. No, it's much more of an incense smoke. It's a sweet smoke. Let's pour it. Oh, how sad. There is not very much of this left. Fortunately, we don't need too much. Oh, by the way, I'll mention, Ardbeg is bottled at 48% alcohol. It is, it is always better to have a higher strength bottle. Always better, because it has more flavor in it, and if you want to tone it down with water, you can do it yourself. Or if you want to drink it at the higher strength, you can do that too. You have that option. It's also a better value for obvious reasons. Now, the fact that it's non-chill filtered uh, means that the... Um, the heavier chemicals that would begin to precipitate out uh, if we're chill filtered are still in there. And that means it is tastier. So, let's nose. That's a fancy way of saying smell. From the glass, it's a little more minty, a little more phenolic, medicinal, and let's taste. There's a little smokiness. Uh, there is a little oakiness, uh, a big spiciness, but um, and and the phenolic uh, medicinal iodine taste. But above all of these, there is the taste of vanilla cream soda. Why? High quality United States bourbon barrels. Bourbon barrels will impart uh, spiciness and vanilla flavor into a whiskey. They are very, very much present here and very noticeable in part because the peat 
is enhancing their flavor. Now another thing I want to say about Ardbeg, after saying how sweet it is, uh, and how you should try it and not be scared of the fact that it's peaty, um, that is that is absolutely not the, the most important part of the story. Uh, the quality is the important part of the story. Ardbeg also has a gravelly taste, I find. Um, on a good day it's a little bit more like mineral water, you could think of going through the rocks, uh, but it gets a little dusty too uh, on the finish. Uh, the finish is, is, is long otherwise, and the, uh, and the iodine kind of continues for a while too, perhaps a little bit longer than the vanilla. I'm going to give it a, a pretty good rating. Uh, it's one of my favorite whiskeys. Um, giving it an 8.6. So, thank you for coming to my birthday party. Uh, I'm Julian, and I'll see you next time.